Hello students, welcome to this video tutorial called Rectangular Prisms and Volume. Let's open SketchUp 8. Let's zoom in towards the girl's feet. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw a rectangular prism that has a volume of 9,000 centimeters cubed. Now I've already worked out the dimensions of this uh, rectangular prism and I've written them on a piece of paper so that I'm not making things up as I go along. All right, so I'm going to use the rectangle tool, and I'm going to create a rectangle that is 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters. 30 centimeters, comma, space, 15 centimeters. And I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I'm going to use the push-pull tool, and I'm going to activate the pull. And I'm going to pull upwards, and I'm going to type in 20 centimeters, and hit enter. All right, so what I want to do is I want to focus on the top face, okay? Now, if I've already forgotten what the dimensions are, there's a very cool tool that we can use. It is the tape measure tool. So I'm going to click on the tape measure tool, and I'm going to start in this corner, and I'm going to click once, and then I'm going to go to this corner and it will tell me it is 30 centimeters. It shows me right underneath the tape measure or in the bottom right hand corner. Now I'm going to start in this corner and I'm going to go to this corner and I can see that it is 15. So I've remembered, ah oh yes, so this rectangle that I initially drew on the ground was 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So I'm going to use the text tool and I'm going to type in 30 centimeters times 15 centimeters. Now I don't want to have any spaces. I want to have these dimensions as small as possible. So what I've done is I've chosen a font that is very narrow. It's called Arial Narrow. I'm going to use Regular and what I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose 3 centimeters height. Now if I want it to be even smaller, if I'm worried about it fitting on the face, I can try 2 centimeters tall. I'm going to click Place and I'm going to place those dimensions right on the top face here. Okay, sorry for the lag. All right, 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters. All right, so now let's identify the front face, the dimensions of the front face. So I know that this side is going to be 30 centimeters. Do you remember how tall we made it? It was 20 centimeters. Now, if I'm not sure, I can use the tape measure. I can click on this vertex and I can measure down to the bottom. Yes, it was 20 centimeters. And if I just want to make sure from this corner to this corner was 30 centimeters. All right, so 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters is my next thing that I have to type. So I'm going to click on the 3D text tool, 30 centimeters times 20 centimeters. And I'm going to keep everything else the same because it fit on the top very nicely. I'm going to click place and I'm going to place that somewhere on the front face. All right, let's go to the side now. The side, I'm going to use the orbit tool and orbit around a bit. Now, does it make sense? Let's see if we can figure this out. So this side is 15 because the top is 30 by 15, and we already know that the height is 20. Now again, if you're not sure, use the tape measure. So this side here is 15 centimeters, and this side here is 20 centimeters. So I'm going to remember that 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters. I'm going to use the 3D text tool 20 centimeters times 15 centimeters and I'm going to click place and I'm going to place it here. Hopefully it will fit on the side. I don't want to have it jutting out or sticking out. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to continue creating the, a 3D text box for the dimensions for all sides of this rectangular prism. Alright, that's the end of this short tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.